Hello everyone, I'm Danielle from Love Your Knitting Machine and today I would like to show you how to make a simple dishcloth. On this channel we want to help you guys get your flatbed knitting machines out of the closet and get using them and we'd like to show you easy projects that you can do to start right away. So this is one of them, the dishcloth. And what I did for this dishcloth is to keep it from rolling, because you know when you do um, just regular plain stockinette stitch, uh, your projects tend to roll. Um, you don't want your dishcloths to do that. Um, so what we did with this one is we hand manipulated every five rows. So you can see this, this is a bunch of purl stitches and then five rows of um, stockinette stitch, then five purl, and then five stockinette. And we did that both ways, so this ended up being um, kind of square, <laughs> square-ish. Um, and so for this we used this um, cotton yarn, it's the Peaches and Cream. The color is Beach House, so it has some gorgeous pinks and blues and oranges. Um, a cream and it is it is at number four so it's it's your worsted weight I'm using a chunky machine and so the only tool that you'll need today is your latch tool we're going to be using our latch tool to hand manipulate the stitches so my disclaimer on what I would do differently if I was going to make this again is that I would use I'd make it bigger like this is kind of a small washcloth, um, I and I so I would make this bigger. So I do still have to sew in my um, my yarn. I'll just feed that up the side a little bit, and then I'll cut it off so that you don't have that. Uh, I do have a couple big loops uh, um, from my e cast wrapped on um, cast on, and what I would another thing I'd probably do differently is on the end I did a. Um, crocheted bind off I would probably do a crochet cast on in the beginning because this is really loose um, and so I wasn't really planning on it being that loose uh, my crocheted cast off is maybe a little bit tight I probably could have done that looser um, but in reality it's it's pretty good for especially for a washcloth to kind of have that firm edge so that's what I would do differently but uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that on your knitting machine. So this would be a super quick and easy Christmas gift idea. Uh, you could um, make a whole bunch of these in one afternoon. This is maybe a 15 minute project because there is hand manipulation so it takes a little bit of time. Um, but if you'd like to see more Christmas ideas that are really super quick and would be great gift ideas, check out our Christmas ideas video. So make sure you subscribe below to see our next project. It is another dishcloth, cloth, <laughs> but this one is, uh, I use a different kind of stitch to keep it from rolling and it is so cute. Okay, so for our washcloth, we are going to cast on 25 stitches. We're going to make a slip knot. I want to do an e-wrap cast on. So you're just wrapping your needles like the letter E. Okay, now we're going to push them all back. Okay, I decided to do two extra needles to actually cast on 27 so that when we do our pattern, we're not using these first two stitches. So what we're going to do now is knit five rows at tension seven. Okay, so 
now I'm going to do some manual manipulation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these end stitches alone, but I'm going to do five. Um, I'm going to go back and forth with five. So I'm going to skip five. These are going to be my knit. My next five are going to be ones that I manipulate into purl stitches. Pull out those five and these five are going to stay. So what I'm going to do in order to do that is I'm going to put my stitch in here. And this will be, I'm going to pull out my needle. I'm going to pull out my knit stitches. It's a little bit more difficult right here because I have my weight hanging here. And I'm going to purl back up or I'm going to actually knit these. Right back up and then hang it back on my needle. And so I'm going to do that with each of these 10 stitches. And so what I'll have is purl five, not counting my end one, then knit five, purl five, knit five, and purl five. So let's continue to do that. I think I want to be below that bar there. So you want to get your needle in here right below your latch tool, right below that, that last bar that you can see. It might be easier to do this if I took my weights off too. Okay, and we're going to do that straight across. And while I'm doing this, my son is going to read to me. We're going to do some homeschooling. Okay, so now we have our five purl, five knit, five purl, five knit, five purl, and our two end stitches. And we're going to pull our needles forward and push our knitting back. And we're going to knit five more rows. Okay, and now we're going to manipulate here. We're going to do five first, then leave those as pearls, five knit, leave those as pearls, and these five knit. And this is a little bit trickier where to put your um, latch tool. But again, you want to make sure that you're down uh, five bars, really. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna put my stitch under there. Pull it out and knit back up. When you pull your thing, when you push your latch tool in, you want to go past your latch. When you pull it back out, you want to grab the string above it. So that's one, two, three, four, five stitches, and hang it back on your needle. And we're going to do that in sets of five across. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, you should have manipulated 15 stitches, five, five, and five. So now we're going to push it back. And we're going to knit another five rows. Okay, and now we're going to manipulate the second five. skip five and then 
next five and you should have six stitches on the end. So make sure you count down five of these bars right here. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's where you're going to stitch. Stick your latch tool in, pull out all the stitches. Make sure you get all of them so you only have one loop. And then push your latch tool in far enough past this latch hook. And then pull in the next string. Should have five stitches up. Okay, and do that across. Okay, so now we're going to pull out our needles, push back our knitting, and knit five more rows. Okay, it's fun when a new color pops out. That was pretty. So now we are going to do the five stitches. We're going to start with man manipulating our stitches into knit. Skip five, do the next five, skip five, do the next five, and we should have our end needles. So we're going to manipulate 15 this time. Okay, so now we finished that, so we are going to pull our needles out, push our work back, and knit our last five rows. Okay, so that's our 25 rows. Now we're going to manipulate um, the next, we're gonna skip the first five, we're gonna do the second five, skip five, and do fourth five, and leave the rest the same. Okay, so now we're going to bind off. You're gonna need your latch tool in order to bind off. And what you want to do is you want to, you actually want to pull all your needles forward first. That will open up all of our needles. We're going to put this first um, loop on our <laughs> latch tool. We're going to place our string into the latch tool and pull it through. And we're basically going to do that all the way down. We're going to pull this back, hook on to it, and then we're going to put our yarn in and pull it out. Okay, so we're going to push our last tool up so that we have our loop on there. We're going to pull our needle back, push our latch tool up again, and pull through. I don't want to lose that. So we have our latch tool closed now. We want to pull that through and pull our string through. Okay, so I will move that closer. Okay, so here we are closer. We're going to pull this back, push our needle up, and pull the yarn through. Push our latch tool up, catch this, pull it back, push, pull the yarn through. And we're going to continue that until we get to the end. Okay, so this is getting a little tight. So what I'm gonna start doing is using my gate pegs. What I'm going to do is just leave my yarn right there behind my gate pegs so that it's not making this super tight. All right, 
So I want to go behind my latch, hook onto my needle, move my yarn onto the latch hook, and pull my string through. So we'll push our hook up, latch on, switch over, and pull our yarn through. So move our latch up, hook onto our needle, switch that over, and pull our yarn through. And this will make a looser um, This will make a looser bind off to, to match our uh, looser e wrap cast on. Now I am doing this from uh, the left side. Most people do this from the right, but that's where my carriage was. So, I mean, do what you gotta do, I guess. Then when I'm done, I will be able to just uh, take all my work off of my my uh, pegs here.